Well, hi. Of course, you know it's time for another installment of The Basics. And for today's show, I'm going back to the X-Files CCG because I want to talk to you about adversary cards. Now, adversary cards are very important to the game, and if you give me a few minutes to explain, I will tell you why. As you may have known, if you've played the uh, X-Files CCG or you've watched my other videos on it, that during each turn a player can play three different cards. Now, one of those types of cards that's out there that's playable is the adversary card, because face it, if you're playing three events every turn and nothing else, you're not going to win a game of this CCG. And the adversary card is there for you to play during your turn against your opponent to stimmy his agents and keep him from investigating the sites and eventually discovering what your X-File is. Uh, the adversaries do different things. There's different uh, lore on the cards that you have to be aware of. You have cards like the Psychotic Attack, Long Range Combat of 3, Close Range Combat of 2, Health of 5. It varies per card and each card does a different thing. So for example for the Psychotic Attack Damage from long range combat may be split among all opponents. So your opponent can have, if he has, say, three agents, the damage from this is split amongst all three agents. You could potentially send some or all of his agents to the hospital. The mechanic. The mechanic may use martial arts and subterfuge combat cards. So that gives you an extra boost. You can throw those in there well as well and really do some damage to your opponent's agents. And you have cards like Slithers in the Night. There is no extras. You just go by the numbers, and long range is not applicable in this case, because if it's a snake, it's a very close combat animal in real life, and that translates into the game, since the game is based on real life situations and such, from the X-Files. They're very important cards to have in your deck, and again, you have to go back to deck construction tips. And if you go on the internet and look at people that have made decks... Uh, you don't see a heavy amount of adversary cards, but you do see enough of them in a deck. I believe from some of the decks that I've looked at, adversary cards can number anywhere from 8 to say about 14 as an average. Everybody's different, of course. So you have to keep that in mind when you're building your deck. And that's part of the appeal of the X-Files CCG is you have different card types like this that do things like that. So you have to keep all this in mind when you're building a deck. And as you only have three cards to play per turn, as I mentioned earlier, you don't want to take them up all with events. And you definitely don't want to use too many adversaries in one turn as well because you'll be tipping your hand to your opponent of what you're trying to do. If all you're doing is throwing down adversary cards through each of your turns, you're not accomplishing much else but just trying to stalemate him, per se. Understand? That's all for today. Have a great day, everybody.